What we're continuing to do is to fight by every legal and constitutionally appropriate method to make sure that we preserve and protect election integrity. And we know that at least six states violated their rules in the administration of the 2020 election. We can't allow corruption to prevail because if cheating and cheaters prosper, then we'll never have free and fair elections again in this country. Trump advisor Jenna Ellis it back in 2020 as she was spreading all sorts of lies about the 2020 presidential election. Of course, she perpetuated this notion that the election was stolen from Donald Trump, that there was widespread voter fraud. She decided to repeat and regurgitate all sorts of lies. And I'm not the one who's simply saying that she's a liar. In fact, she's the one who has admitted that she's a liar. In fact, she had to go before a judge because of her violation of Colorado rule of professional conduct 8.4. The rule in Colorado states that lawyers cannot engage in conduct involving dishonesty, fraud, deceit or misrepresentation. And when she was before that judge, she acknowledged that she lied not once, not twice, but 10 separate times in regard to the 2020 election. Let me give you some of those details. Uh, apparently, respondent agrees she made the following 10 misrepresentations. On November 13th, 2020, respondent claimed that Hillary Clinton still had not conceded the 2016 election. That was a lie, and she admitted as such. On November 20th of 2020, respondent appeared on Mornings with Maria on Fox Business and stated, quote, we have affidavits from witnesses, we have voter intimidation, we have the ballots that were manipulated. We have all kinds of statistics that show that this was a coordinated effort in all of these states to transfer votes either from Trump to Biden to manipulate the ballots to count them in secret. That was a lie, she admitted as such before a judge, let me give you more. On December 5th of 2020, respondent appeared on Justice with Janine Pirro on Fox News and stated, quote, we have over 500,000 votes in Arizona that were cast illegally. That was a lie. You guys are getting the point, right? So forward facing, she'll lie all day every day. But once she realizes that it could hurt her ability to practice law because she's breaking rules pertaining to lawyers, well, then all of a sudden she'll admit that she's been lying. Yeah, so uh, now I wanna clarify, she says, no, I didn't admit that I was lying. She, you're gonna love this, admitted instead that her actions violated, quote, her duty of candor to the public. Candor means honesty. So if you violated your duty of being honest to the public, how is that not lying? <laughs> she, these guys are hilarious. Hilarious, okay? By the way, the judge noted there was two aggravating factors here. One, that she had a selfish motive, and that two, she engaged in a pattern of misconduct. In other words, she would not stop lying and it was to get paid. But when you're a lawyer, I know it seems funny to us because lawyers often aggressively represent their own side, whether it appears to be true or not, but you have a duty not to lie. And so here's a person who said, at least on those 10 occasions that she purposely did was not honest with the audience, right? And so um, what I'm curious about is the MAGA guys, right? Do they look at this and go, man, do they think I like that she lied to me before and I don't like it that she's being honest now? Or do they think, no, she's lying now about lying, why would she? Implicate herself, it, I don't get it. And or do they think like, yeah, I mean, she's admitted that she's lied. Sidney Powell has admitted in court that she's lied. And Sidney Powell has said, no reasonable person would have believed me. Yet you guys still believe them. So I just genuinely don't get it. I, I know for some, it's an easy explanation. They're in a, in a media bubble, and so they've never heard any of this stuff. And they might never hear it in their whole lives that Trump's lawyers have admitted to lying. Right in court, they and a lot of them have never even heard that Trump lost every single case, over sixty cases. A lot of them have never heard that he didn't present one piece of evidence that the election was stolen. But for the ones that did hear it, God, it's, it reminds me of fundamentalist religious folks that no matter what you say, they always have some nonsensical circular argument. Well, I mean, obviously it's because the deep state and Antifa and their sightseers. And so that's why her lying up to us is actually true. Okay, whatever gets you through the night.
for some folks, power is something they place above all else. So is there a portion of the Republican constituency that knows what the truth is, but they like the lies, they wanna further the lies because they want power. This is the way they see their ability, their possibility of remaining in power. I mean, I just think in this current political system with an incredibly pathetic, embarrassing and weak Democratic Party, how about you guys actually use democracy to your advantage instead of enabling this whiny crybaby, right? Anna, that's such a great point. I just don't get it, but but let me finish my point. But yeah, for some people, power is everything and they are willing to throw democracy away in order to maintain power or in order to maintain the person they prefer in the White House. But I mean, it's there are better things in life than having your favorite guy in the White House, I guarantee it. And I, I would argue that maintaining our dem- democracy and democratic process is far more important than one particular figure that you love so much. Well, there's two things about that. Number one, is he your favorite guy? You think he's your favorite guy because of the lies he's told. But in reality, has he actually served you in any way? I mean, look, and I'm, I'm super fair to the right wing, he says, <laughs> okay. But listen guys, seriously, I get it. You like that he bashes the libs and he owns the libs. You like that he wanted to build a wall. You, there's a bunch of things that he says that you like, right? And I know that he hates the establishment and you hate the establishment. And here, here, brother, I get that, right? But what did he deliver? You think you like him, but all he delivered was a $2 trillion tax cut to the rich. No, here's what he delivered <laughs> and it's clearer and clearer to me because In the absence of a political system that actually represents the best interests of the American people, the only thing that voters can look forward to is the blood sport, right? Which is why for some portion of Republican voters, triggering the libs, owning the libs is everything. Because that's the only satisfaction they can really get out of this broken, dysfunctional, corrupt system. Yeah, and so look, two things, one is that Ironically, the right wing would actually get a bunch of the things that they want if the left wing wins. We would get you higher wages, which you definitely, definitely want. We would get your family health care that you want, paid family leave. Oh, do Republicans really want that? Yeah. Yeah, but they don't don't believe it. Three quarters of Republicans say we would love paid family leave when we have a baby because we care about family values and etc. right? But the right wing and Donald Trump will never deliver that to you, so you're valuing Neither will the Democrats, Jim. No, no, that's definitely true, but hold on. His fake lies, you value more than actually delivering the things that you want. That's amazing to me. But I wanna go back to Anna's great point. Look, right wing, I don't wanna help you out because I I think all you're gonna do is help the rich, okay? But if you wanted to win in this country, it's actually so simple for you guys. For the left, it's near impossible because of all the institutional forces against us, mainly corporate media. But for you guys, all you have to do is stop being nuts and you're gonna win in a landslide. The Democrats are the weakest party in American history. They never deliver, they don't even, they're a bunch of corporate goons, right? All the right wing would have to, and, and policies I don't even agree with, and I don't agree with the right wing's policies at all. But if they just stop weirdly lying and saying we, sh- you know, that votes don't count and screw democracy and let's destroy the America and the government and do a national, if you stop being nuts, you would actually easily win. But so I don't know if I'm supposed to be happy that you're nuts, <laughs> but I'm worried. I'm worried for the country. I'm worried for you guys. I'm worried about this enabling fascism. Please regain your sanity, and ironically, it'll help you win. So what ended up happening with this situation with Ellis before a judge? Was she disbarred? Was there any real consequence? No, there wasn't. So there's no justice in the world. So she lied, she admitted to lying and the judge stopped short of suspending or disbarring her. This is the former senior, this is Jenna Ellis's statement. This was politically motivated from the start, from Democrats and never Trumpers. They ultimately failed to destroy me and failed in their attempt to, who, we didn't even know who you were, bitch. Like none of us knew who Jenna Ellis was. <laughs> oh yeah, it reminds me of all of those athletes that are like lauded and er, like everyone sees these athletes as heroes and then they win the Super Bowl or they win some you know playoff championship, whatever it is. They're like no one thought we could do it. No one thought we could do it. No, everyone <laughs> thought you can do it. Okay, everyone thought you can do it. Jenna Ellis is like, 
Like we're sitting around thinking about Jenna Ellis like, ooh, how can we destroy her? No one cares about you, no one even knew who you were until you started spouting off all these ridiculous election lies. I just can't with these people, I'm, it's exhausting. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, but hey, listen, I don't know if you're pro Jenna Ellis now or anti Jenna Ellis. I don't know if you believe words, if you don't believe words, but there she is in open court saying, yeah, I repeatedly lacked honesty in my communication. I lied to the people <laughs> who trusted me. That is what she admitted to. And I'm just gonna end with graphic nine here. Because even though I don't really like Ann Coulter, I do appreciate this tweet. Item for the resume, Jenna Ellis denies lying about election fraud, which she notes requires intentionally making false statement. So not a criminal, just a bimbo. Yeah, and look, Ann Coulter asked the same question I'm asking, which is Trump voters, do you like being lied to? What a weird thing that you like it. And what an insane world that I have to agree with Ann Coulter on that one thing. She's actually in a lot of ways more hateful than Trump. She's like the epicenter of hateful, but she hasn't lost her sanity. Isn't that an interesting no, distinction? No, she's crazy. Like, let's no, not. no, no, she's crazy. We need to go in too her, far here, okay? No, no, but she's crazy in her opinions, Anna. But she's not detached from reality and thinks that the ghost of Hugo Chavez, you know, rigged elections right. and 99% of the world's doctors are morons and don't know anything and rigged vaccines and thermometers and all this stuff. So she's just a normal hateful person. Hey, Republicans, why don't you just return to that? I, I can't, Again, yeah. you'd still win. Yeah, remember the quaint times in America when Ann Coulter was considered the worst of the worst? Yeah, <laughs> now we're like lauding her for being an awful person that just hasn't lost her mind. <laughs> That's the bar for Republicans these days. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.